So, let's, let's give it a go. See, let's have a look. Here we are again. So, um, what have we got on the perfect draft? Well, if you watched my last video on, what did I have? Unremarkable drink, obviously. Jay Paul. So, recently had Jay Paul. That was the keg before. <laughs> it was nice. It was it was a good old drink. You know, I do like my IPAs though. As I said at the end of that video, next one, Lefe Lalegra, or Lefe Lager. So I think it's it's quite a new Lefe one, new Lefe kegage for the perfect draft. A little taster there. We'll see how it goes. I do like the IPAs on it. I I, I like the um, the Goose IPA. I think that's still my favourite at the moment. I'd say, you know, the j Paul, I like that as well. On to this one. What will it give me? I'm at, What am I expecting? I'm kind of expecting a fresher, summery lager. But I do want that Lefe twang to it. I mean, one of the reasons that a lot of people buy this Perfect Draft is... For the Lefe selection on there. There's a lot of Lefe kegs you can get. You know, you can get the Lefe Royale, the Lefe Brun, Lefe Amber. Yeah, there, there's some there's some nice ones. I had one before. What did I have? I had the um let's have a look at my beer hawk history. Yeah, I had the Lefe Amber, which was it was nice, you know. And some people say about, you know, the cost of kegs and things like that, you know, how much these kegs cost. And, yeah, they're not cheap, but you go and buy a bottle of Lefe, you know, you order a Lefe in a pub and you're paying. You, you know, you will pay for that. It will, so it actually works out pretty reasonable if you're drinking those higher strength beers. Obviously, you don't need as many as well of a night. So, so yeah, I had the Lefe Amber. It, I'll be honest with you, it's probably the one keg that lasted three, four days because it was it took a bit took a bit more getting through, and you knew you had it the next mo You knew you had it the next morning. Very nice. I've also got a, a Lefe Ruby um, coming up, so that I'll do a review on that as well. But this one is the Lefe Lalagra or Lalegra, whatever, however you want to pronounce it. Basically, it's the bit of an easier drinking Lefe um, that's more like a lager. Yeah. So I'm just I'm hoping it's got that Lefe twang to it because that's nice. That's all good. I mean, if you look into the history of Lefe, it's it's a hell of a hell of a history, isn't it? I mean, you you see some beers that are existing since 1664. Which one's that? Lefe, you go on to their history, 1152. Monks. Monks. You know, monks have been brewing it. So, you know, we're, we're talking historic beer. Yeah? And I'll be honest with you, if, if I wanted to trust anyone on what's a good beer, it'd be a monk. A Trappist monk, because that's that's what that's that's what they um you know yeah. I mean, I'd love to do a bit of a Lefe tour. I'm sure you can with the old Lefe Abbey or whatever it is. So obviously, Lefe is a it's a Belgian beer, and let's face it, they know their beers. They really do. Some of the some of the beauties. I mean, you know, Chimay's, your Duvals, and you know, Lefe's are amongst them. They're lovely beers, and. I think it's a it's a large portion of why people have this this perfect draft machine because the the selection of of Lefe beers is top notch on there. They are owned by Inbev. They're not a little kind of Trappist brewery in Belgium in a, in a corner making you know the beers all traditional like they probably were. But hopefully they ain't lost that 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 Lefe speciality. 
I don't think they have anyway. So the you know the basically Abbey beers that that's what they're, they're known as. So obviously I mean being in Bev, they're you know brewed by the same people as Stella, but in the end of the day, as long as uh, yeah, as long as they're keeping that kind of that taste, you know that special Belgium, then I'm happy, you know. So let's give it a blast. Let's see let's see how good it is. As always, I'm going to be doing a little snackaroo with it. So, the old um, Pigs of Doom, which was my last snack, you know, went down well. Went down well. I'll be honest, I haven't had all that jar. If, if anyone watches that last video, I've not snaffled all them snaffling pigs. Because they are hot. I compared them to um, jalapeno and cheddar Max Strong Crisps. I was wrong. Yeah, they are a lot, lot stronger. I think the first few I had lured me into a false pretense because a few more and I was, yeah, hot. <laughs> I, I told one of my mates that I had that, the old, the old pigs of doom, and he said, his friend said, it's basically like licking the inside of an oven. I've not done that, but I can see what he's saying. So what am I going to have with this little beauty? With this one, I'm going to have these little beauties, and I've already snaffled a few, but um, it's about does that snack go with the crisp. So this are the, uh, these are the hot chicken wings, you know, Max Strong. I just like how they, they say perfect with beer on there, because, you know, genius. Gen Walkers, well done. But there's been a disappointment. Now, there has been a disappointment. I had the J pour out of a goose glass. I said in that video how I was going to try and I've got, I've got into glasses and I was going to try and get the proper glass for the beer. Well, I was going to try that, and I, I did try that. Disaster blaster, yeah, disaster blaster. Look at that. Yeah, don't order glasses off eBay. Yeah, I mean, I could do it kind of like, you know, that's an option. It's not a good one. Put that down, it's over. Spillage. Criminal. Not going to do it. So that's, um, that's a shame, because that looked a nice glass. Never going to use it. Never going to use it. So, being as it's a InBev beer, what I'm going to go for is a Stella Chalice, because in the end of the day, whatever you say about Stella, the Stella Chalice is a hell of a glass. This little beauty, it um, it gives a good head. So, let's have a look at what the old uh, Lefe Lalagra Legra. I'm terrible at pronouncing things. Let, let's have a look at what the keg looks like. So that's what we're talking about. There's the Lefe L'Allegra. Beaut. So, once again, gonna pour myself a pint. No judging on the pour. Let's go. bad. Um, I mean that's why you have it isn't it? That's why you have this beauty at home. Look at that. Draftage. So there's some life to that. I mean a nice nice um, nice colour. You know that I say that if I'd have poured a Stella out of a can that's pretty much that kind of colour. That's, that's no no, no disrespect to it. Um, nice bit of life to it, good head. You know, it's a beer, isn't it? So, let's, let's give it a go. Let's see, let's have a look.
Smooth. Smooth, not too gassy. I can taste that left a twang still. I can. Obviously hasn't got the strength of a lot of the left A's. Didn't you don't buy that for that. What strength is it? It's five percent. It's you know, it's five percent, so it's your stellar strength. But I'll drink that over Stella every day of the week. I would. I don't drink every day of the week. But if I did, I'll drink that over Stella. Um, I like it. It's good. It's good. I think that is a good Lefe summery drink. You can enjoy it. That's refreshing. It's refreshing. It's one you could drink a few more of, you know. Which I'm sure is what left they are aiming at there. It's nice. It's nice. Yeah. It's got that. It's got that crispiness to it. It's got that, you know, refreshing nature to it. It's, that's nice. Yeah. Good pint. Good pint. Definitely. Fire that down on a bar. You know, have a barbecue outside. A few of them. Nice. Yeah, I like it. It's good. It's good. You know, it, it's also a bit cheaper than some of the other Lefe's. I mean, it's what what is it at the moment? I think it's around about thirty-two quid, thirty-three quid um, on on um, beer hall. So, you know, I think that's fair enough. I mean, that's refreshing. It is. It's a refreshing drink. I've actually been decorating today. You I mean, you know, I've got paint on me probably well see it. And I tell you what, that is a little treat because after you've been DIYing or whatever, you know, yeah, goes down well. Yeah, that's good. It's good. Nice, refreshing, crisp drink. I like it. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, th I think that's what you've got to say about it. it. It is a bit of quality that you can taste. I mean, I would say out of the kind of standard beers that are out there in your cans, you know, your, your Carlins, your 1664s, your, your Fosters and what stuff like that, out your tins. Sometimes, on a very hot day, I don't condone having those beers. <laughs> so, yeah, I've drank a lot of those beers. It, they're refreshing, aren't they? And that is refreshing, but with that extra little bit of quality. That's what I'm saying. That's what it is. I think that's a winner. Yeah, good. How's it go with a snack? Where's my snack? So, hot chicken wings. They're good. Yeah. I know what they're like already, really. But how did I go with this little beauty? They go pretty well. Yeah, they're not as good as the jalapeno and cheddar ones, but a bit of, bit of a change, isn't it? Can't have them every time. So, they are crispy. They're good, crunchy crisps, they are. So, um, nice. Happy days. Hot, sunny day. That's perfect. Simple as. If you want a lager out of a keg and you've got a perfect draft, have a Lau and Brew, Lau and Bro, whatever you want to call it. Have a Stella, have one of them. That's a good three pack right there. Good three pack of lager to get you through those hot days because you get discount on, on some of the on three packs. So, yeah, I mean, that gets a thumbs up from me. Still lively, still, still bubbling away. Look at that. Yeah, cheers. That's what I'm saying there. Let me hold that down there by the stem a little bit. Good colour, isn't it? Nice. I mean, you can't say fairer than that. So, I mean, cheers, peeps. Nice. Next time, 
what I'm going to be reviewing next time. Let's have a look. I'm going to pick one of the three kegs to go for next time. I've got three left. I'm on the left a train. Okay, so I'm going to go for a bit of this. Now, left a ruby. So this has got to be the first kind of fruity beer that I'm going to be firing through this. That's the next one to, uh, to be reviewed. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. And we're talking on this one. It's another 5%er. A bit different though, isn't it? So, let's see how that goes down as well. But for that one, it's a winner.